Hi everyone, welcome to the video series of BMC Helix on-prem health check tool. My name is Nilesh Deshpande and in this video we will be covering the part 1. This is a series of the video sessions to educate on BMC Helix health check tool. In this part of the video series we will be covering the introduction and then we will go through the logical architecture of the BMC Helix on-prem and where does the health check tool fits in it. It explains what is the need of the health check tool, what are the different options and the features available in the health check tool. Let's look at the logical architectural diagram for BMC Helix on-prem installation. We see three components here, ITSM, ITOM, which has the BHOM, AIOPS and BHCO. And the third is the common services, which is also called as Helix portal. When you install the ITSM, you will have to install the common services first before you start the installation. And both are a different installation options. Whereas in case of ITOM, when you select for that part of installation, the common services are installed out of the box. So this is how the overall architecture work and there can be also installation which has only common services and ITSM and there can be installation which has a common services with ITO and then ITSM installed on it. Health check tool does the validation in all those three areas that we'll see in the next demonstrations and the slides. Whenever a new user installs the BMC Helix product, it has two questions come into his mind that uh, I have followed all the system requirements page, the day zero checklist. I need to confirm if I have followed all the steps correctly and my installation is going to be successful once I start the deployment. The second question comes into his mind is I just installed the product. Can I do a quick health check of my current environment just to make sure that it is stable and functionally working well? Health check tool solves those pain points or the questions. HC2 has three options in it. The first one is the pre-install. This validates the system requirements. It does the prerequisite checks before the actual installation is started. The second one is the install. Say you start the installation and um, then you find that the installation is hang or it's reporting the errors. Then at the time of the installation is happening, you can run this option and this will report any errors if they are happening during the installation. The third one is the post install. This is a health check. That means the installation is successful. Now you want to validate the health of your cluster and if there are any functional problems on to the products. This slide covers the features available with the health check tool. As we saw those previous three options, whenever those three options are executed, the health check tool reports uh, all those validation errors or warnings into a text and the HTML format in a summarized way. You get a single consulate report which has all those lists together. During those validations, health check tool covers the uh, Kubernetes version, the OS parameters needed for the installation, the namespace, the persistent volume, the status of the nodes. It validates the various versions of the Helm, Kubernetes, OpenShift and Ingress against the supported versions as per the documentation. It validates the Ingress class. It validates the storage class, the health of the NFS. It validates the certificate. Then it does the connection checks to the various load balancer endpoints, the discovery appliance, SMTP, and uh, the other integrated servers like the image registry, it does the NS lookup and uh, the URL check, both of them. It validates the basic hardware as we documented in our guideline. It makes sure that the clocks on each of the nodes are in sync with each other. It validates the locker for the country. And uh, since uh, it, it is a live product, that means it will be uploaded whenever we found some issues at the installation at the customer or we found any defects, then it also, because of that, it's also able to cover if there are any release defects occurred after the product is released, it will be able to validate those. When it validates the ITSM, as of now, it validates the common services and the, the Jenkins input file, which is passed to the ITSM, is validated with the health check tool. We covered the items that we had in the agenda and in the next video, we'll be doing the demonstration.